Hi, I'm Julie Cole, your LPGA instructor for today. I'm from Charlotte, North Carolina. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of swing plane. And to demystify the swing plane, uh, we can think of it in terms of a strike zone or a plane zone in golf. And I'm going to demonstrate a few things for you to help you out. In golf, like any other sport, we have a strike zone. And what that simply means is that we've got a plane that we need to work down on uh, that controls our ball flight and aligns our golf club to hit long and straight golf shots. So the best way for you to get your own swing plane is to take out a five iron. And several things assist us in swing plane. Uh, the first being the fundamentals. And you want to have your shaft about a 90 degree angle to your spine. And as that club sits down, this is the slant of the club or the swing plane that we're trying to work this golf swing on. And our forces have to be along that line for our shots. So we first have to understand some of the fundamentals that influence swing plane, which are your hands, which control the cocking of the club, your posture, which allows the club to hang freely with your arms under your shoulders, and that uh, and alignment. So those things are very much influencing your swing plane. So if you have never thought about swing plane or you have a video, don't have a video, you may want to try this drill at home or on the driving range to feel your own swing plane. So if you'll take any two clubs in your bag and just grip down on them, we can set this up very easily for you. So you want to have an alignment aid at your toe line and some golf balls along the toe line right here. Now to produce a repeatable plane, the first thing that you want to have is at the halfway position, your club parallel to your feet and your hands about three inches apart. So if you're going too much around, you're under the plane. If you're too far out, you're very steep. So you want to get your club started right here in your golf swing on your way to an on-plane swing. From this point, we want to transition almost to the top where these two golf clubs are now pointed at the back of the ball target line with your hands still connected. This helps you produce the, sw the swing plane that we're working for. Now, as you come down, these two clubs are not going to crash. You'll notice they're not moving outward, they're not moving inward. They're moving down the plane, almost back to parallel to your feet. And as I come down, this is what's very critical, is your right shoulder, your right forearm, your right hand, the shaft, and the club head are all coming down on that plane and they match. This keeps you in your spine angle and produces a repeatable solid swing plane. If you continue to do this drill, over and over again, whether it's at home or on the range or in a mirror, you'll definitely start to feel your own swing plane and improve your shots by 10, 15 yards at least. To find a teacher near you, go to lpga.com.